Hi everyone, welcome back to She Stitching. This is Melanie, and um, I'm going to show you the next stitch in our Just Another Crochet Along to make our sample blanket. The stitch this week is going to be this beautiful v, um, cluster V stitch, um, and I worked it up here with two colors or two, two rows of each color, and then I changed it out. I really like this stitch, I think it's um, really crisp and pretty. And I have here in the background, I've got the V stitch, so you can see that's where we get this V from. And then this is our cluster stitch. So these are just smaller clusters. And we put it together in a V. And then this was our V stitch waffle I also just picked up to kind of um, show you. So these are all other stitches in our crochet along. Um, so you can see here, this is the size four medium weight yarn, working it out with a 3.5 in order to get the gauge for our crochet along. And if you're gonna do the crochet along with us, go ahead and get your starting chain of 31 chains while I talk about the stitch a little bit. And if you're not doing the crochet along with us and you wanna replicate this pattern in a different size, you're gonna use a multiple of three plus four. Um, so here you see my stitch or my, my sample for the crochet along. And then I also worked it up. So this is in my Karen Run Pound four it's a size four. And then I also worked it up in this um, Lion Brand ice cream. And um, let me see what color this is. This is a thinner weight. It's a size three. And this is the cookies and cream color. Um, it's really pretty and um, uh, more of this like an ombre yarn. So um, I uh, wanted to work this up for you. It'd be a really pretty for um, a lightweight scarf. And the way that I found this stitch was actually working on a mandala vest that I'm making out of a Karen cake. And this is going to be a, a child's mandala vest. You can see the sleeve hole here. But this red row is the cluster V stitch, and it's on top of a regular V stitch. So that kind of shows you this is with a 5.5 hook, so it's a lot looser. Um, kind of shows you some one another possibility for this yarn or for this stitch, I'm sorry. And then the last one I wanna show you is my fun new thing that I'm doing for the cow. This is some yarn that was gifted to me, so I don't think it's in production anymore because it's pretty old. It was from um, an estate stash. Um, but you can see here, I've got three rows of the V-stitch cluster, or the cluster V-stitches on top of this. And this is kind of gonna be my sample scarf which is something that I'm working on. And I'm doing it with the same size hooks that all the stitches are recommended for in my videos. So you can see here, I've got the cluster V, a bean stitch, the double crochet three together, the star stitch, and then I did another bean. And then I have um, oh, the grit stitch, and let me see, this one's the, the cobblestone, and then another bean stitch. Then the ripple stitch and the floret. So this is another scarf that, or a scarf that I'm working on off of all of the patterns that we've done so far, and I'm doing it all in the one color. I really think it's beautiful. This is a very fuzzy scarf, or fuzzy yarn. This is penguin uh, mousse, and um, you can tell by the tag. It's made in Brazil. It's kind of old, um, but it's fuzzy and it's really hard to to frog. So I'm kind of just having to make sure it all works out but you can see what it looks like there so let me join you at the end of our chain 31 one more sample I wanted to share with you this is a red heart super saver and this is the Aspen print so this is also a size 4 yarn but I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the variegated and I forgot to mention before that this is again it's a double-sided stitch um, it looks the same and beautiful from both sides um, it also only has a one row repeat and the stitches stack up on each other, so you don't really have to worry about counting as much. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way and get to my Karen One Pound for my crochet long. So the colors for my sample here that I'm working on today, I have the pale green, the light green mix, and the Cape Cod blue, which almost looks black on my camera. But I've got my pale green here, and I've had to roll it into um, a cake using my Stanwood 10 ounce yarn winder, which I really love because I've already pulled out more than 10 ounces from my Karen One Pound. And it's been through a lot. It's been many car rides with me, and it's still holding up. I love this yarn because it's soft and keeps on going for forever, it feels like. So here we go. So we've got our chain of 31. 
And then what we're going to do is skip five stitches, or we're going to skip four stitches, sorry. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to go to the fifth one. And I like working in those back bumps, so that's what I'm counting. Um, instead of using these Vs for the chain, I like to go into the back bump. So one, two, three, four, and into the fifth one. And what we're going to do for the sides of the Vs, it's going to be a double crochet two together. So we've done the half double crochet two together, but we haven't done a double crochet two together yet in the crochet lot. So I'm going to walk through this with you slowly. So we're going to yarn over and place into that fifth bump. And then we're going to pull a loop through. So we've got three on, and then we're going to pull another loop, yarn over and pull over a loop so that we've got two on there. And then we're going to do that again. So we're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull a loop up, and then yarn over and only pull through two of those. So this is like the bottom of a double crochet. And then we're going to do the last part of the double crochet together. So we've got three loops on, one that we started with, and then one for each of these double crochets. And then to put them together, we're going to pull through all three of those. And there you can see this is the little cluster um, that is forming the edges of our V-stitch. So that's one cluster. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do the other side of the V. So to do the other side of the V, we're going to do another double crochet two together. So we start by yarning over and we're going to go into the same hole. Yarn over and pull a loop up. Then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over and go into the same space. Yarn over, pull loop through. Yarn over, pull through two. Then we have the two bases of our double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over. We've got three on, so we're going to pull through all three. And that is our first cluster V stitch. Now it's a little bit weird because of the chain on the end, but this is what we're going to be repeating the whole way through. And we're going to skip two chains in between each of our cluster V stitches. So we're going to skip one bump, skip a second, and go into the third. So we're going to yarn over and place our hook in. Then yarn over, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that again. Yarn over, place our loop in the same space. Yarn over, pull loop up and through. Yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over and pull through all three of those to finish our double crochet two together. And then we're going to do a chain to create the chain space that goes in the middle of the V stitch. All right, now let's do our other cluster on the other side of the V. So we're going to yarn over. Place our hook in the same hole, yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that again, yarn over, place it in the same hole, yarn over, pull a loop up. We've got four loops on, we're just going to pull through these two on the bottom, so yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So now we've done that twice. And there's no chain space in between these V-stitches. So let's start our next cluster V-stitch. We're going to skip two spaces, one, two, and go into the third, which we'll use for the whole cluster V. We're going to yarn over. Robbie, please don't do that. We're going to yarn over. <laughs> please our hook through the bump. Yarn over, pull loop through. Yarn over, pull through two. And let's do that again. Yarn over, place it in the same space. Pull a loop back through. Yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over and pull through all three. And there's another edge of our cluster V stitch. And we're going to chain one for the middle of the V. And then we're going to do another double crochet two together. So yarn over, place it in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull a loop through. We have three on. Yarn over, pull through two. We've got down to two and the base of the double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over and do that again. Place in, pull loop through, pull through two, and we have three loops on. We're going to pull through all of them. 
So there you can see our first three of them with you. Let me go ahead and do that one more time with you. So we're going to skip two spaces and go into the third. So skip one and two and go into the third. Yarn over first and we're going to do the double crochet two together. So there's the bottom half of one double crochet, the bottom half of the second double crochet, and then we're going to put them together on the top half. So that's how the cluster is made and that's why it's called a double crochet two together. All right, and then we're going to put the chain one in the middle and do another DC, uh, double crochet two together in the same spot for the other part of the V. So yarn over, pull loop through, pull through two. Yarn over, go back in the same spot, pull loop through, go through two. And then we've got the double halves, pull through all three. So let's go ahead now and we're going to complete the whole row out doing that. So I will meet you at the end of this row. Five stitches left here and I'm just going to do the last half or the last um, cluster V stitch with you. So we're going to yarn over once and place in the hook. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over back in the same spot, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, go through two, pull through all three, chain one, and do another double crochet two together. Um, so this is, uh, hopefully by now you've gotten a hang of this, and it's a really easy stitch, and this is just going to compete or repeat all the way up, and they'll go on top of each other. So let's finish off this row, and I'll show you how that works out. So we're going to put, uh, we've got two stitches left here, and we're just going to put a double crochet in the last stitch um, as our outside border. So just a double crochet, yarn over. There we go. Um, so there is our first row all worked out. So let me move this a little bit since Bessie messed us up. <laughs> So um, now we're going to go ahead and jump up to the next row. So for this row, the first stitch is going to be a chainless standing double crochet. Um, I've been doing this throughout our crochet along, so I don't want to take too much time teaching it, but if you um, need more of a detailed tutorial for this stitch, that's definitely understandable. It is a little bit difficult. Um, so I will put a link to the Moogly um, tutorial. Um, but just really quickly, what you're going to want to do is pull your yarn up to the height of a double crochet. You're going to wrap it around so it looks like you have a yarn over and then you're going to place into that first space and then pull a loop back through then yarn over pull two or yarn over go through two and then yarn over pull through the last two and that's our chainless standing double crochet. Um, and if you're not comfortable doing that you can just do a chain three and so if you have this or the chain three then you're going to add another chain on the top of that and then we're going to start out with um, our V stitches so the V stitches or the cluster V stitches I'm sorry are always going to be going in between here so this is our V stitch our cluster V stitch from below and we're going to work into this little diamond here that's created by the chain one space that's in between these two double crochet two togethers so we're going to go into this diamond shaped face space and we're not going to go into any of the loops or anything. We're going to go straight into that diamond. So let's yarn over and then place our hook in there and pull loop up and through. I need a little bit more slack here. Oh, just here we go. And then we're going to yarn over. So we've got three on. So we yarn over, pull through two. And let's do that again. Yarn over, pull through two. So we've got three on. Pull through them all. Then do the chain one in between. So we're just doing that normal cluster V stitch that we um, did on the row below. There you go. And so you can see they start to stack up directly on top of each other. And we're not going to chain anything here, but we're going to move to the next diamond. So here's our V stitch from below. We're going to go into that next diamond. So let's do that cluster V stitch again. So we place in and do the double crochet two together. There we go. So that's one arm of the V, or one, oops, I pulled through my, split my yarn a little bit right there. There we go, so that's one side of the V. Then we put the chain one for the middle, and then we go back in there into that big open space again, and do the double crochet two together again for the other side. There we go. 
So now you have two V's on your second row, or two cluster V's on your second row. Let's keep going. Um, so as you can see, this is a pretty easy stitch once you um, learn how to do the clusters. And I really like it. It grows fast, and I think it has a pretty sophisticated look to it. Um, and it fits in with all of the other stitches from our crochet along. So I'm just going to finish out this row while well, I've reached the end of the row here. And I just want to um, make sure we get the edges on the turning part, right? So for the end here, you can see this is the top of the cluster V stitch. And then this is the top of our turning chain. So we're going to want to go into that turning chain. So skip this looser stitch here from the top of the cluster stitch and go into the turning chain. And just do your double crochet in the end here. And then I want to take a minute now to show you how I color change on the edges of my rows. Um, so you can see here I changed every two rows. I changed color. So let's go ahead and do this together. And I'll show you really quickly how I do um, my slip knot. So we do the peace sign and pinch our yarn here and then pinch down here. And then I'm going to put my hook on top of the yarn like this and yarn over the top one. And I keep the pressure here. Then I yarn over the bottom one. And then I grab this top yarn like that and you can see how it kind of twists there and then I just hold that still and pull my yarn through and that's how I do my slip knot and then that will tighten up there on my hook so let's turn our piece and go in for the third row let me situate my yarn okay so if since we're changing with a double crochet I'll show you really quick a single crochet if we were doing a single crochet on this pattern which we weren't what we would do is just um, put our yarn through the hook yarn over pull loop through then yarn over and pull through two and that looks like a normal single crochet right um, but on this one we're going to do a double crochet so let me put back through that slip knot and so normally this would be fastened off but I'm just going to hold it behind for now for time's sake um, and what we would do is, if we were doing a normal double crochet, what we would do is yarn over once. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over once, and then I'm going to place into the stitch where I normally would. And I'm going to yarn over in the back here, and then pull a loop through. And then we're going to yarn over again, and pull through these two. And then yarn over again, and pull through the last two. And that is, you can see there, exactly what a double crochet would look like. It looks different on each side, right? It's a little bit loose because I wasn't holding the tension right. Um, so that's something you can play with until you get the tension right. So we've got that um, chain, or we've got just a standing uh, double crochet. Um, so you can do that if um, you give it a few goes and see how it turns out. We can try that again so that you can see. I'll get the tension better this time too. So we want to hold our tension here and then do a yarn over place our hook in and pull loop through and we've got three loops on pull loop through two we've got two loops on pull loop through the last there you can see that's a little bit of more of a standard size for my stitches so do the standing double crochet and the chain one and then you can go ahead and start doing the cluster V's stitches into the middle of those V stitches from before there we go and then the chain one in the middle. All right, so I hope that you've enjoyed this stitch. Let me know how everything goes, and um, I will see you next week. If anyone asks where I am, until then, please just tell them she's stitching. <laughs>